All right, so you've downloaded everything off the web and you've extracted it into a single directory. Your directory structure should look something like this, along with the application file itself and then some other various files. So let's launch the application now. The application starts in OCL Hashcat. You can see other ones along the top here. We're going to use Hashcat Lite, but I'll show you why we're going to use Hashcat initially here. Uh, we've selected the path we want. Now notice in Lite how you cannot select the path to the hash file. There's nothing here. You can select a drop down based on previously entered values, but you can't browse to it. So that's why we use Hashcat. So I'm just going to go in, grab this, copy and paste it into here just to save some typing. Again, it's just a technique, So, um, but we are going to use Hashcat Lite for this. We've got a colon as a separator. We've got uh, MD5, and it's going to be pass colon salt. Our output file, this is where it's going to output the results of the brute force. We're just going to dump this into the root directory. And then up here, this is going to be a numerical value, just a single numeric. We're not, we're not intermixing it with uh, alpha characters at this time. And down here, we want to select the binary that we're going to use, in this case, Hashcat Lite. So you go to Hashcat Lite directory and select the one you want. For us, we're going to use our video cards. So we're going to use the, the CUDA version. And once you're done, uh, you just confirm everything. Looks like we've got uh, eight characters. Looks good. Let's run the brute force. And it looks like it went very fast. So four digit pin, it cracked it in less than one second. And it doesn't reveal the results on the screen, so we have to go to the output file to see what the actual pin is. So let's close this and open up the output file. Okay, so our pin is 4567. Four digit pin, and that's one possibility. Remember, we've got two different hash files that we have to run through this. So 4567 is our first possibility. So I'm just going to rename this 4567 just as a technique and run a brute force against the second hash file. And again, I'm just going to copy and paste this in the Hashcat Lite. Everything else essentially remains the same. We don't have to change anything here. Uh, so let's rerun it. And again, it finishes very quickly. Four digits and less than a second. And it was able to crack it. So let's look at the results. 5678 this time. So now we've got two different possibilities. So I'm just going to rename this 5678. One of these two pins is going to get us into the phone. Uh, so we're going to try that next. But at least you've got two different possibilities. So let's give it a shot, see what happens.